Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can transform your Raspberry Pi 4 into a powerful server using Casa OS, through which you'd be able to see media, backup your data and much more. Casa OS is an open source project to deliver a personal or home server experience. For instance, it can run Nextcloud, Jellyfin, AdGuard, etc. For this, we'd require a microSD card preferably a class 10 one for better performance or a portable SSD. So to begin with this process, we are required to install the imager. I am going to use the Raspberry Pi imager. So let's head over to their website and after this, there would be three options. You have to select your operating system. In my case, it's Windows. Now simply click save and it would start downloading automatically. After that's done, you have to just run this exe and set up the Raspberry Pi imager. After the imager has been installed, simply open the Raspberry Pi imager and firstly select your device like in my case it's Raspberry Pi 4. Choose your operating system and just go to Raspberry Pi OS and select the first one, the Pi OS Lite 64 bit and in place of choose storage just select your SD card. And now make sure um, nothing's on your SD card, otherwise it would be obviously removed. And now if you click next, just uh, click on edit settings and make sure set host name is enabled. And like in my case, I just type it raspy.local. Make sure set username and password is enabled and you have entered the password for your Raspberry Pi. Configure wireless LAN can be enabled just in case you want to connect your Raspberry Pi to a wireless network. In my case, I'm using Ethernet for better speeds. Also click on set local settings and just uh, scroll up, services and enable SSH. Um, Alright, we are good to go. Now we we'll select yes and once again yes. And now it would start writing the image on your SD card. Now you just have to wait for it to complete flashing. It won't take much time. Now once it's done flashing and verifying, just simply eject your SD card and connect it to your Pi and power it up. Now because we had already defined a host name for our Raspberry Pi, we'd be able to get its IP address easily by pinging it. So we'd start off by opening terminal. Yep. And then we have to just simply ping our Raspberry Pi by its host name. In my case, it is raspy.local. And yes, you can just see the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. So we we'll simply copy it. And now I'm going to use PuTTY for connecting my Raspberry Pi via SSH. You can even use terminal, but I'd find PuTTY more easy. So I type in Pi, the username at the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. Now we'd hit open and then we'd just simply enter the password of our Raspberry Pi. Now we have connected our Raspberry Pi to our computer via SSH. So all you have to do is now install Casa OS. So we'd just first go to their website you would see something like this so this command needs to be copied and then we will just paste it over here after you have pasted the command casa os would automatically start downloading it won't take much time it, after it's done you would see an ip address from where you can access the home page of casa os after casa os has been installed it should give an address like this uh, for the home page of our server so all you have to do is just um, copy this thing and paste it on your browser. So yeah, this is Casa OS welcome screen. So now to make an initial account, so type in your username. And then click on create. So here it is, Casa OS home screen. Uh, you have files app pre-installed um, through which you can just see all of your files of your Raspberry Pi. 
you can even connect your ssd i mean external ssd and external hard disk drive in order to make it as, as a nas you can even go to app store so that you can see apps that are available on the app market like anaconda ad guard jellyfin home assistant and much more you can even install a custom application as I had mentioned earlier, you can just transform your Raspberry Pi 4 into a NAS server. So we can do that in just a few simple clicks. So all you have to do is just go to the Files app and now click on Shared. Now it says follow the guide to start sharing on your, uh, your files on the local network. So we have to simply click on Start. And now you have to select the folders that you want to be, sh want to, uh, want to be shared. Like in my case, I just select uh, documents and gallery media yeah so now you have to click on submit and now you're good to go these three folders have been sh shared successfully on your local network so all you have to do is now just open file explorer on your windows computer or i mean on your computer and now just click on this top bar and uh, paste the path which you would get by clicking on these three dots and get network path so depending upon your operating system like i'm using windows so we just click on the first link so it says copy to clipboard and now we just simply paste the path over here yeah so as you can see uh, right now it's empty like say for example i want this test file to be there on my raspberry pi's document folder i just simply um, copy it and paste it over here so as you can see now if i just go to um, the home page and now if i go to the documents folder that has been shared you can see this text file and if i open the file see you can just see the um, file being opened on the home page so yeah i hope you guys found this video interesting and helpful if yes please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel